Sounds like someone's done with studying. Hey, come here. Hang out with me for a while and just relax. <laughs> wow. I guess all that studying really wore you out, huh? Well, if it helps, it's gonna pay off in the long run. It may be exhausting and frustrating and pretty much a pain in the ass for now, but I reckon it'll be quite worth it. <laughs> yeah, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I promise, but only so long as spoken contracts aren't legally binding in the court of law. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I'm just joking. You're working really hard, and it's all gonna pay off someday. And then you'll be able to get a good job and maybe even buy me a nice big mansion for, you know, being such a cool roommate. <laughs> yeah, one with that. Well, all jokes aside, someday you're gonna be happy you worked as hard as you are now, even if it's currently frustrating. But for tonight, you're done with dealing with all of that, so you won't have to look at it again, at least for tonight. <laughs> just put it out of your head and just watch this movie with me. Yeah, good question. Um, honestly, I have no idea what this movie is. I just kind of turned it on and then started playing games on my phone because I have no attention span whatsoever. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. You know how I get after studying. You know, my brain just gets all poof and just doesn't work anymore. Therefore, I reward it with entertainment using the silly little glowy screens. And, well, you can't blame me because you do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just watch this movie with me. Or, uh, I don't know, just sit there and at least pretend to watch it. Whatever you want to do, to be honest. Yeah, sure. Do whatever you gotta do. But... You better come back here and just, you know, hang out with me. Uh-huh, you don't need to be trying to do any more studying tonight, you, you goddamn workaholic. Oh, uh, hey, while you're up, uh, would you mind grabbing me that ice cream from the freezer? I bought some for you too, if you want it. Yeah, it's no problem at all. I thought you wanted to, you know, reward yourself with something sweet. So, toss them over here, would you? Thank you. Um, is that a blanket? Are you cold? Oh, yeah, that's true. Your desk is in that absolutely freezing corner of the room, isn't it? No wonder you always look so miserable after finishing your homework. Hmm. You know, if you'd have just told me that you were cold, I could have given you my hoodie. You didn't have to go back and grab that blanket. Oh. Planning to fall asleep out here then? I'm not judging, I promise. I was actually thinking of doing the same thing. If you don't mind the company. Yeah, that's true. The couch is pretty small. Hmm. Well, we could always try and cuddle. If you consent to it. <laughs> you know, since that'd probably help you warm up too. No, not at all. I'd be fine with it. As long as you are. I mean, we've cuddled a few times already, so I don't think it's too weird. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, one sec. Uh, here. Uh, move a bit closer. You can lay your head on my shoulder if you want. 
Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, even your face is cold. You're just a little icicle. At this point, you're gonna freeze if you try to eat any more of that ice cream. Well, then pull that blanket up here and wrap it around us. Come on, let's get you all warmed up. There we go. Isn't that better? Now then, let's just chill, eat some ice cream, and watch this movie. Um, hey, you're shaking. Are you sure you're not still cold? You know if you want to borrow my hoodie, that offer is still on the table. <laughs> Come on, you know I wouldn't mind. I think we've both accidentally switched hoodies more times than we can count, and it's never bothered me, so it wouldn't bother me now. If you want to borrow my hoodie, I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> yes, I promise. It's all good. Yeah, okay. Um, here. Let me just take it off real quick. You mind sitting up for a second? Perfect. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. Uh, here. Uh, put it on. Alright, um, how's that? Feeling any warmer? Good, I'm glad. I'd hate for you to miss out on your ice cream just because you were too cold to handle it. That would have left me to finish it all. And, you know, though that would be a perilous task, I would have gladly endured it for you. My chilly little icicle friend. <laughs> me? Selfish? <laughs> That's nonsense. I would be doing you a favor by getting rid of that coldness from you. If anything, actually, eating that much ice cream would be more of a burden. Yeah, well, you look like you're going to fall asleep face first in your ice cream anyways. So, why don't you just give it to me so you don't have to worry about that? You wouldn't want ice cream on your face, would you? You can't be sleeping with a sticky face. Well, it wouldn't be comfortable now, would it? <laughs> Come on, just give me some of your ice cream. I know you want to. <laughs> uh, fine. You can keep your ice cream. I did buy it for you anyways. I guess I'll just have to settle for eating my own and watching this movie. There. It's already over. I guess we missed the entire thing, huh? <laughs> Here, uh, toss me the remote. I'll turn on something else that we actually want to watch. Um, up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let me just put it on. There we go. Now, why don't we just... Huh? <laughs> Gosh. Um, hey. Are you actually asleep? You know you still have a spoon in your mouth. <sighs> um, hey. Hey. <laughs> sleep ahead. Wake up for me. Hey there. You awake now? Yeah. You actually fell asleep. I told you that you looked too tired. I'm not making fun of you. Well, not right now anyways. I'm just saying that if you're tired, you should just head to bed. There's no point forcing yourself to stay awake for my sake. Well, we can just spend more time tomorrow, okay? 
for now. Just get some sleep, okay? It seems that you really need it. No, it's fine. You can still sleep out here if you want. Let's just move around a bit so it'll be more comfortable for you. First up though, let me just grab that ice cream. And no, I won't be eating it. I just don't want it to melt all over the place while we sleep. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm gonna sleep too. If you're sleeping, then it's not really much point in watching the movie. Alright, in that case, let me just grab the ice cream and I'll go put it away. <laughs> no need to complain. I'll be right back, I promise. Then, you can go back to using me as a big, snuggly, warm pillow. Just be patient. I'll be back in less than a minute, alright? <laughs> Are you already drifting off again? Gosh, you really did wore yourself out with all that studying. Okay, so, um, how do you want to do this? What's going to be the most comfortable position for you? Really? <laughs> Too tired to think? Um, well, let's try this. I'm going to put a pillow over on this end of the couch and sit over here. Why don't you sit between my legs and lean back against my chest? That way you can use me as a pillow and we'll both be comfortable. I mean, I think you'll be comfortable. And honestly, it might be the only way we'll both be able to fit on this couch. Yeah, I won't be laying down exactly, but I don't mind. I don't plan on sleeping too much anyways. I'm not exactly tired yet, so maybe I'll actually just watch TV for a little bit anyways. Yeah, then come here. And bring the blanket too. It's getting kind of cold. <laughs> See? Comfortable, right? Yeah. After all, I've been told I'm very comfy. Some may even say that I'm the comfiest pillow they've ever had. Oh. <laughs> Is someone jealous? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm your pillow first and foremost. <laughs> Come on. You know you love my jokes. That's why you've lived with me for this long. Well, that and my incredible cuddle capabilities. And the fact that I buy you food. And my amazing puns. And my insanely good looks. And my smoking hot bod. And... Well, hmm, I just really am the full package, aren't I? Absolute hubby material, maybe? <laughs> hey, y y you know I am. I'm like a 10 out of 10. Marriage material, 100%. <laughs> Aw, you're so mean to me. And here I am, being so incredibly nice and cute, and even letting you sleep on me. Yet for some reason, you are so, so rude. <laughs> Come on. At least you gotta admit that I'm a good cuddler. Aha! I'll count that as a win. Now, hurry up and go to bed, because apparently, you get super snarky when you're tired. Oh, wait. How could I forget? You're always snarky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just sh shut up and go to bed. Rude. Go to bed before I decide that I don't want to cuddle with you anymore. Uh-huh. Look at that. You're yawning. All that sass must be making you even more tired. <sighs> You're just... Lucky that you're cute when you yawn. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I didn't say anything. Besides that you need to sleep, that is. <laughs> Shh. Just go to bed, grumpy little icicle. You need to rest up. Nope. Come on. Just lay your head on my shoulder so you can drift off into dreamland. See? That's better, isn't it? So, so comfy. Mm-hmm. You alright if I wrap my arms around you? That way you don't fall off the couch while you sleep. Sweet. Just lift your arms up a bit. There. Now, this is perfect. All comfortable now? Hmm? You're kind of mumbling. Was that a yes? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll take that as a yes, since you're just snuggling into my neck at this point. <laughs> what? Too tired to respond? I guess being sassy really did wear you out. Yep, it definitely did. <sighs> sleep well, sleepyhead. Hey. You asleep yet? Hmm. I guess you really were tired. <laughs> I'm kind of sad, you know? I really wanted to hang out with you tonight. Then again, this is pretty nice too. Cuddling with you is something I'll never get tired of. Especially when you're all relaxed like this. Just leaning into me and letting me hold you close. Feeling how warm and relaxed you are against me. Feeling our chest rise and fall as your breathing evens out. I can't tell you how happy this makes me. You know, I thought that you would have figured out that I have a huge crush on you by now. I'm not exactly the best at hiding my feelings. And I know I have this tendency to flirt with you. I thought it was just inevitable that you'd put two and two together. And that you'd realize that I'm a bit head over heels for you. Kinda have been since we first started rooming together, really. Just hanging out with you always makes my day. And I just love the time that we spent together. And I love being your friend. <sighs> I really do. But I still want to be more with you, you know? Do all that romantic stuff. And make you feel loved and happy and... <sighs> I don't know. I just want you to feel everything that's good. Especially when you think about me. Now, <sighs> that might be kind of selfish, but... That's kind of part of having a crush, right? That... <laughs> that little jealousy when you call someone else cute... Always trying to get your attention, trying everything I can to get you to like me more, all that kind of stuff. Like, there's selfless parts of it too, but I guess I just feel like it's selfish. Because I don't want to distract you from your work or your school stuff, and even if you want to date someone, I don't want you to be awkward about it because I'm your roommate and I want to date you. I don't want to make you feel guilty about anything. And I feel like, well, you're so sweet and such a good friend that if I did tell you that I had a crush on you, you'd feel weird about it because you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. Because that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Making you deal with these feelings of mine. <sighs> but then again, on the other hand, there are times that I feel like you might actually have feelings for me too. 
I don't know. It just seems to look like that sometimes. And you do a ton of the same stuff that I do for you too. Getting me snacks, lending me your jacket, watching my favorite shows, even even when you hate them. <laughs> sometimes you even kind of flirt with me too. It all just feels like stuff that you wouldn't really do for another normal friend. I mean, I think I'm right. Right? <sighs> what am I even doing? I know you can't hear me. <sighs> I don't even know anymore. Why is all of this so hard? One second, I think I know what we are and what our relationship is. And then the next, I have no idea. I just wish I knew how to ask you about it. Without making it weird between us. Because I'm just too scared of losing you. I'd rather be friends than just lose you completely. <sighs> Maybe someday, someday, I'll finally find the nerves to tell you. Or, if I'm lucky, you might tell me yourself. <laughs> I can dream, right? I guess, for now, I'll just enjoy this. Whatever this is. Whatever what we have is right now. Because honestly, I think I could spend the rest of my life like this and still be happy. Just as long as I have you, I'd be happy. It would be nice though if I was able to kiss you. It'd be really, really nice. But at least for now, I guess getting to hold you like this isn't so bad. I mean, I get to have you this close to me. Sleeping against me. I can feel your heart beat against my chest. And that alone is one of the greatest gifts I could possibly ask for. But right now, it's perfect. Whatever we have, it's perfect. Hmm. <laughs>